Alright everyone, this is the video, the first video for the point slope form quiz retake. So it's going to have a multiple choice and one other question on there. <coughs> We're going to start with number one. Which of the following lines contains the point for negative two? I'm going to show you two ways to do this problem. Okay? The first is just to know the point slope form. Now point slope form is this form. And what we've talked about in class is that there are three things of this format that change. The y1, the x1, and the slope. Now here, we're not worried about the slope. In all these problems, the slope is three. That doesn't really matter for this. We want to know where, what line has this ordered pair, the x and the y. So we need to know that the 4 is an x and the negative 2 is a y. What the point slope form does is you always wrote the letter y first and you took the opposite of the y coordinate in your point. So the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. Okay? So if I know it's y plus 2 already, I can already eliminate a and c. I can actually eliminate b as well. It's going to be d here. But the rest of my point slope form would be the slope, whatever it is. Here it's 3. You always write the letter x, and then you do the opposite of this x value, which matches z. Now, if you're allowed to use Desmos, which you are, what I would do is type that equation into Desmos and make sure the point is on the line. So I would type in y plus 2. equals, and then it has 3 times x minus 4. Alright, now if I have that line, I wanted to see if the point 4, negative 2 was on the line. So I plot that point, and I look at the picture. See how it's on the line, so you know you did the problem right, and you chose the correct answer. So d is the answer for that one. Now, if you don't know point slope form, which hopefully you do after making all these corrections, the other strategy is to type every single multiple choice answer into Desmos and see if the point 4, negative 2 is on the line. So, for example, I'm going to type A in. Y plus 4. Oops, sorry, guys. I don't know what I did there. Did not like me, though. Um... equals 3 times, what does it say, x minus 2. And now if I grab that line, see the point is not on the line, so I would be able to cross it off of my multiple choice. Okay, so that's how you do number one. Number two says what point is contained on that line. Now here's what you can do. If you want to use Desmos, go for it. Type the equation in. y minus 3 equals... Um, one half x plus nine. All right, so here's your line. I want to know which of these points is on the line, so I'm going to type them into the next box of decimal. Negative three nine goes down here. That point is not on the line. Cross it off. What about three negative nine? I'm going to move the negative over. 3, negative 9 is, where are we at here? Down here. Definitely not on the line. So cross it off. 9, negative 3. It is not on the line. It's down here. So hopefully the last one is on the line. Negative 9, 3. is on the line. Okay? So you, that's how you can do it. You find your answer that way. You can also understand how point slope form works. You need a point is an ordered pair. X, Y. The X value for the point comes from the number next to the X in the equation. Now take the opposite of it, which is negative 9. 
The Y for the ordered pair comes from the number next to the letter Y. So you take the opposite of it, and you have the point you chose. Number three, which of the following equations is written in slope intercept form? Now this one, Desmos isn't going to help you with. You have to know that slope intercept form is what we graph lines in last unit. Y equals mx plus b. All right, C is point slope form. You just need to know this. So point slope form, this is what we did on this quiz. That's not the answer. B is actually called something, or something called standard form. We don't typically teach that at our school. So it's not the answer because that's not Y equals mx plus B. D is Y equals, but there's no mx plus B. A is, so A would be your answer. All right, one more on this video, or four more, one more time. Number five, six, seven, and eight. These all are the most basics of point slope form. I'm giving you a slope. I'm giving you a point. You need to write those in point slope form. Now, point slope form, if you remember, we just talked about this. Looks like this. So there are things, two things, three things that you change. The x and y and the slope. You always need a number, a y, and an x. So in order to write point slope form, the first thing I would do is label your point x and y. The equation always starts with the letter y. You take the opposite of the y value in here. So the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. The equal sign stays the same. M stands for slope. So all of these slopes in every problem here, that is your M. So that is going to go right after the equal sign. After that, you put a parenthesis and an x, and then you're going to use the opposite of the x value from your ordered pair. Now, just like the last problem, you can check your work here. Type that into Desmos. I'm not going to do that on every problem. I'm going to show you here. Type in y plus 3 equals negative 4 times, I think it's x minus 9. And then type your ordered pair in. We want to make sure that 9, negative 3 is on the, the line you just wrote. So type it in. Here's your point. It's on the line. You know you did it right. If the point wasn't on the line, you made a mistake somewhere. Number 6. Start with the letter Y. We label our points X and Y. I'm going to do the opposite of 0. So here is 0. You can do plus or minus. So I'm going to do minus equals the slope, and I put my parentheses again, the letter x, and then the opposite of the x in the point. Opposite of positive 5 is negative 5. You can type that into Desmos to check your work. All right, label x and y here. When you write the equation, you start with the letter y, and then, sorry, you do the opposite of the y coordinate. The opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. Equals, you take the slope, and then your parentheses, x, opposite of the x value here. So opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. Type it to Desmos to check. Last problem. Label your x and y. Start with the letter y. And take the opposite of the y value in the point. So the opposite of 6 is negative 6. Equal your slope. Parentheses x. And then the opposite of your x value, which here would be negative 7. Alright, so those are the most basics of point slope form. What I want you to do now is go back to your mixed practice packet. Packet number 2. Now, my class did the odd, so you're going to go to the practice packet, if you need help finding that, ask your teacher, and do numbers 2, 4, and 6 on that packet. Then, make sure there's, see if there's any multiple choice you have not done on that packet. And then if you've done those things, you're not allowed to move on to the next video. You need to do some Canvas practice. It is linked next to this video. Click on the Canvas practice, try a couple. Once you have improved your score and shown your teacher that you can do this, 
Then you can move on to the second grade. 